What do you believe? Chicho kiriza. What should you believe? Chicho take a duo kiriza. With all that. Nebio bio na. When did you believe? Di yo wa kiriza. We are here now to believe in the finished works of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tuliwana okukiriza mili mjamu kama hafa Yesu Christo jia kole dana maliriza. If you fail to believe that miracle, whatever miracles you're asking for will never come. I'm Stephen Tashobia. Mpitiwa Stephen Tashobia. And I'm here to testify for the good things the Lord has done in my life. I came to this church. When I was in Form 3, I was confused. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know what I would become in the future. I was about even to drop from the school. So, but, but I decided to come to the Kakande Ministries. And Prophet Samuel Kakande prayed for me to get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And immediately after the prayers of the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, my life changed completely. And it has been a success loud. I was able to complete my studies. I, I completed my, my, my engineering degree in software engineering from Makere University. And as I was still at the university, I continued coming to this church. And when I visited the man of God in his office, I told him that I want to be creative and innovative. And immediately after my, after my university, I started up my own company. And it's, it's a technology company. Uh, it's, it focuses on developing softwares and medical devices. And here to confirm is the certificate of yes. registration. This is a certificate of incorporation. Uh, it is coming from Uganda Registration Service Bureau. From Uganda Registration Service Bureau. And it's in the names, it's the names of Wakebele Company Limited. Company Limited. And to further confirm that this company is mine, company no yange. Uh, here is my ca business card. In a business card yange. Uh, it's from Wakebele Devices. Wakebele Devices. Uh, in the names of Stephen Tashobia. As the CEO. The Chief Executive Officer. And the lead developer. After starting this company, I really needed good partners because I wanted to lift this company into an international level. But also, I also wanted to enhance my career in engineering. So I came to the office of man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. I told him that I want, I want to lift up my company and also lift, lift up my career in engineering. He gave me two apples. Blessed apples. I ate them as I prayed. And immediately after that, I received an invitation from the British Royal Academy of Engineering. British Royal Academy of Engineering, uh, to join them as a frontier of developer. And through this, uh, we have been able to travel many countries. And here are some of the letters to confirm. This is uh, a, a rate of invitation from the Royal Academy of Engineering. It's addressed to Tashobia Stephen. And it's an invitation letter inviting invitation to London for the Global Grand Challenge Summit 2019. 
and this summit was bringing people from, was bringing all the academy of engineering in the world uh, we had, uh, it, it, had it, it, it was with uk us and chinese and to, uh, and to join this summit you must be a great engineer and you must have done something unique and this is this summit also uh, brought up many big technology companies we had google amazon amazon and other big technology companies, Microsoft, are the same event. Uh, this is another letter. Uh, it's from a British Royal Academy of Engineering. British Royal Academy of Engineering. And it was inviting me to join them for a symposium. Uh, that was to be held uh, in Cambridge. And this was in March 2019. And at, the, and at this conference, we are focusing on uh, developing technologies that can help uh, that can help pregnant mothers. Mu conference, we are trying to take a later on technology. We are technology as well. We are about to share them with you. From the time they get pregnant, up to up to when they give birth and the child is five years. Up to some child was zero. Mu ano mu ano na we zemi aketa ano. And I had a nice journey to UK Cambridge. Na tambo lo gendo lo njenge na mu UK Cambridge. Here is another letter. Uh, this is a letter from University of Liverpool. And I met these partners from, uh, from this summit. And they were inviting me to their school of engineering for a project. And this time we were, we were working on a project to developing low-cost remote health diagnostic devices. And it was addressed to meet uh, Mr. Stephen Tashovia of Wakebele Company Limited. And it was from Dr. Sebastian. This is another invitation letter. And this one now is coming from Manchester Metropolitan University. University Manchester Metropolitan. It's addressed to Mr. Stephen Tashovia. Stephen Tashovia of Wakebele Company Limited. Wakebele Company Limited. Uh, it's from the Faculty of Science and Engineering. Faculty of Science and Engineering. And they were also inviting me to join them on a project called Low Cost Pregnancy Disorder Diagnostic Device for Sub-Saharan Africa. And I was invited to this project because of my skills, as you can see here. Uh, that, they uh, that they strongly believe that my experience and expertise will bring success to this project. project so when I joined this church, I asked, I, asked, I asked for good partners. So I've received many invitations and I've received good partners. So uh, I've worked with different governments. Uh, here is another rate of invitation. It's from Information Technology Industry Development Agency in Egypt. And it's addressed to Mr. Stephen Tashovia uh, to invite them on African approach pad. And here we are going to see how we can be able to promote a development of mobile applications. And I, was, I, had, I had a nice journey to Egypt. And it was a success. Let us clap for Jesus. Here is another invitation letter. From the 9th, 9th African Union Private Sector Forum. And African Leaders Dialogue Dinner. Ne African Leaders Dialogue Dinner. It's also addressed to me, Mr. Stephen Tashovia. Ne yuba ajiwa ndi kiranze Stephen Tashovia. Of Wakebele Company Limited. Wa Wakebele Company Limited. And it was inviting me now to go to South Africa. Ngabampi to genam South Africa. To uh, to attend the African Dialogue Dinner. Okuwe ramu 
African Dialogue Dinner Chijulo. This is another invitation later. Uh, this is from the Regional University Forum. And from Regional Universities Forum. For capacity building in agriculture. For capacity building in agriculture. It's also addressed to Mr. Stephen Tashobi of Wekebele, Uganda. And it was an, it was inviting me to exhibit our technology at African Union African Union Summit. Ngabam Peter Okwale sa technology wa from African Union Summit of the Committee of Ten Heads of State and Governments. A championing education science technology in Africa. And this was in Marawi. So I've been receiving several invitations. I can't put all of them here. And I've traveled to many different countries to work on different projects. Uh, but to do all this, it was through the prayers of man of God. So here is another invitation. It's a flyer for a workshop on technologies for global health workshop. And it's from Eden Edinburgh University. Edinburgh University. And they were looking for experts in Uganda who are developing medical technologies. And, and here is, is my picture featured in and my profile. And I also joined them in this workshop that was looking at, at building a global partnership. So through this work I've been doing, I've been able to receive uh, different awards and certificates. Uh, from, uh, from, from, from national, continental, and at a global level. One of them here is a certificate of participation. That was awarded to work with devices. Uh, it was uh, given to it by the, in, by the Inter-University Council of East Africa. In partnership with East Africa Business Council and African Science and Technology Commission. This is another certificate of merge. Uh, it's uh, awarded to Mr. Stephen Tashovia. As the finalist at the 2019 at the 2019 Youth Connect Africa Awards. Youth Connect Africa Awards And this is the Continental Award. An award Africa. Uh, that happens uh, that happens every year in Chigali, Rwanda. And it, uh, it, 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 it honors outstanding young African innovators. And give them support to continue doing, this, doing their work. Uh, this is another award I received uh, from China. Uh, it's coming from Peking University. Peking University. And it's awarded to me, uh, it's, it's called Yenching Social Innovation Forum Award. Bajita Yenching Social Innovation Forum Award. And it was given to me uh, by. Uh, after presenting the most innovative idea. But brethren, remember when I came to this church, I wanted to be innovative and creative. And after the prayers of the man of God, these are the results that we are showing now. This is also another flyer. In a flyer and uh, that, com uh, that, that confirms that uh, my company, Wakebele Company Limited, company Limited. Uh, is part of the Royal Academy of Engineering. Royal Academy of Engineering. And you cannot join, uh, you cannot join this, uh, this Academy of Engineering. When you don't have expertise and you have done, uh, and you have done something unique and and you can see these are other various companies. Let us clap for Jesus. The giver of wisdom.
So after getting all this knowledge and expertise, and all these partners, uh, we are also doing some, some work to also train some Ugandan doctors and engineers on how to develop medical, medical devices and softwares. And, and uh, on Friday this week, uh, we, are, we hosted a workshop that was focusing on designing the next generation point of care diagnostic devices. And uh, we and I brought speakers from different countries, from uh, Manchester, Zimbabwe, and Nigeria. Manchester, Nigeria, Zimbabwe. And you can also see me here as the host. Thank you, Jesus. Been able to get good partners. So what do you think about partners? And here is the contract, contract you know, that I've signed with different universities across the world. I'll be able to do research and development of the new technologies that will be able to, sh to change and transform the world. Uh, this is uh, a contract that I signed between the University of, Pr of Plymouth, UK. And a contract that I signed with the University of Plymouth. A University of, uh, of Seoul National University, Korea. Seoul National University, Korea. And Oxford Clinical Research Unit. Ne Oxford Clinical Research Unit. And, and it's signed between uh, Wakebele Company Limited. This is another contract. In a contract in Dala. It's an incubation agreement. Agreement. Uh, between Kenya Impact Incubator Limited. Wakati wa Kenya Impact Incubator Limited. Uh, Kenya Impact Innovation Foundation. Kenya Impact Innovation Foundation. And work with a company limited. Ne work with a company limited. And these are investors. Bano ba investor ba msi gani simbi. That have given us money to continue doing uh, our work. So to further confirm. Ukungeleo kaka sa. Uh, that have been uh, uh, attending the Royal Academy of Engineering Frontiers of Development. Intimba the Royal Academy of Engineering. Uh, this is uh, a welcome pack that is given to all the participants and it's called Frontiers of Development. It was looking at inclusivity and well-being in the first 2,000 days of life. That's the period from when a mother gets pregnant to the period when a child is five years. And here you can be able to see my picture here uh, with my name, Stephen Tashobia. Stephen uh, From Wekebere. Wekebere. And I don't only go there to, uh, to attend and participate, uh, but I also go there to train them on how they can be able to build these devices. As you can see here among the, the speakers, uh, here is uh, my name is Stephen Tashobia, uh, CEO of Wakebele Company Limited. CEO wa Wakebele Company Limited. And I was, I was, I was, I was telling them the role of technology in reducing child mortality. So God has given me wisdom. And I've been invited to speak at different forums and different conferences on how we are going to develop and use technology for the better. So here is a conference book for the 5th National Conference on Communication. And it was focusing on harnessing opportunities in emerging fourth industrial revolution technologies. Harnessing opportunities in emerging fourth technologies. Uh, Stephen Tashobia. Stephen Tashobia. Uh, they invited me as a panelist. Uh, to discuss on how Uganda can harness opportunities in fourth industrial revolution technologies. Let us give thanks to Jesus. Once he opens the way, no one can close it. Thank you, Jesus. And here is my picture. And, the, and, the, and, my, and my information, my, my profile. That was published in this book. So this is another book. It's coming from the uh, from the Youth Connect Africa Awards 2019. Youth Connect Africa Awards. Uh, this is when I was invited to go to Chigali to receive my award. 
And if you go inside here, uh, you can be able to see my name is Stephen Tashovia. And I was uh, awarded under the, uh, the category of Access to Technology, Innovation, and ICT. Under the Digital Inclusion Award. Digital Inclusion Award. This is also another book uh, for Frontiers of Engineering for Development. Frontiers of Engineering for Development. And uh, this time they are looking for engineers that for the engineers who, who are healthcare practitioners. And it, it invited me to go to Vietnam. And here you can be able to see my name. And, work, and, and my company, Wakebele Company Limited. Company and Gateway Wakebele Limited. Let's clap for Jesus. And you can be able to see my, my name here. And my company. company company. And, and my profile with other participants. Jesus has blessed me. Yes, one part of I've been able to fly every time I want. I've traveled uh, almost the whole continent. Uh, almost every after two months I'm flying. And to confirm that, uh, here is my passport. passport yange yeno. And this, it's in my name, Stephen Tashovia. And here is my photo. And here are the different uh, visas I've received. Uh, this is a South African visa. And this time I was going to Cape Town to receive my African award. Uh, this is another visa. It's a Schengen visa. Schengen visa. Uh, you can see my name. I used it to go to Barcelona, Spain to attend the World Mobile Congress. Barcelona. Conference. Uh, here is another visa. visa uh, it's also in my name, it's an Egyptian visa. I was going to Egypt. Here is another visa. visa uh, it's, it's, from, it's a Vietnam. Vietnam. So I used it when I was going to Vietnam. Let us give thanks to Jesus. Here here is another multiple entry visa. It's a UK visa. visa ya and it's still active. I've been using it. E kwera and to further confirm, here are various pictures uh, that, show, that shows when I'm in various countries. Uh, this is the picture I took when I was in Manchester. I was there uh, when Manchester City won the cup. You can see me near the trophy in last May. Uh, this is me in September. I was in London. And I was presenting at a Grand Global Challenge Summit. Uh, this is me here. I was at National Communication Conference. National Communication Conference. Uh, sitting on the panel discussing how we can use technology. Uh, here I was in Vietnam. Uh, you can only see the only black person who is in the picture here. Uh, these are other pictures. I was in Cambridge. Cambridge. Uh, here is another picture uh, when I was receiving my award in Rwanda. And you can see even the Uganda flag was raised because yeah. it was a continental award. Here I was at American University. American uh, University. Here I was in uh, Egypt with my other partners. Uh, you can be able to see me here. Uh, here I was in Manchester, Manchester uh, with my partners, partner brethren. When I go for these forums, uh, because I know I cannot make it by my, myself, I always go with my face assistant. As you can see here, uh, I was in my room before going for a presentation. You can be able to see various face assistants 
Uh, the, the master card, the testimony card, the holy water. Abayambi banga benja ulo mkukiriza, kuliko testimony card, master card, amaza agwa mkisa. And when I go to make my presentation, people are always wondering. And they ask me, Bambuza. how do you do it? What do you do in Uganda? And even some people, when they come to pick me at the airport, some people don't believe that it's me. Because they, 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 they carry other big dignitaries. So when they see me young as I am, and they first say, are you the one? He said, I'm the one. Here is another picture. Uh, here I was in Liverpool. I was at Anfield Stadium. Uh, here I, I had visited uh, Imperial, College London. Imperial College London. I was at the university. Uh, here I was at Etihad Stadium. When I Etihad Stadium for Man City. Man City. Uh, here I was making a presentation at Cambridge University. When I Cambridge University, I was showing them how they can be able to develop uh, these technologies. Gambala uh, kwenye jibasi wolo kola mu technology yano. Here I was also in London. Ne wado na Londoni. And here I was training students that, were, that had come from China and U.S. on how to be able to develop technologies. Here I was in Manchester. Outside my hotel. Uh, here I was with my colleagues in London. Uh, here I was in China. China. Uh, when I was receiving my award at Peking University. Uh, here I was with my colleagues in China. You can be able to see me here. Uh, here I had received a delegation that was coming from Japan and Korea. And they had come to see the work we do. And you can see me here in the picture. Uh, here, this is when I was in a plane moving. I always use Emirates. Emirates. Uh, here, I was also in China with my friends. Uh, you can see the only black person. Uh, uh, here, I was also with uh, other professors here in Chigari. Uh, we, are, we are developing technologies that can be able to help countries that are still with in low income countries. Brethren, when you serve God with all your talent, you also reveal your talent to the king and the people who matter in life. So here I was at a global conference that was hosted here in Uganda. You can see here we are with the king of Toro, with minister for youth and other big dignitaries. Through this journey, I've been able to receive big partners. I've received invitations from big organizations. From African Union, UN. African Union, UN. Uh, from uh, various governments. Uh, here I was at uh, UNDP African Regional Program for Youth. You can see me here with my fellow young people that had come from across Africa. And we were, we were discussing on leadership skills, entrepreneurship, and employment opportunities. Give Jesus an applause. I couldn't be able to achieve all this on, on my own. But it was because of the continuous prayers of the man of God. Prophet Samuel Kakande. I thank you, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for loving us. For your continuous prayers. I thank Jesus for, for opening my doors. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing my life. Give Jesus a mighty applause.
What shall I say unto the Lord? All that I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say? What shall I say? What shall I say? What shall I say? Unto the Lord, I have to say. Oh, what shall I say? What shall I say? What shall I say? Unto the Lord, I have to say. Oh, what shall I say? What shall I say? Unto the Lord, I have to say. What shall I say? Thank you for watching.